Despite having 10,000 hours of experience playing GTA 5, I wasn't actually there for its release. I've done effectively everything you can imagine with this game, speed running, pastless runs, no damage runs, but I wasn't actually there for the marketing before the game released. And so that's what I'm gonna be fixing today. I'm gonna be watching all official trailers for GTA 5 released by Rockstar Games on their YouTube channel. I will be using my insane levels of knowledge of the game to compare them to what we eventually ended up getting, pointing out inconsistencies, maybe scenes we didn't actually get in the game, also pointing out graphical errors, and hopefully getting some insight into how Rockstar promotes their games. We will hopefully learn what we should expect from the future GTA 6 trailers. I'll also, for the hell of it, be ranking them on a tier list, because why not? Let's begin. Trailer 1 came out 12 years ago, November 3rd, 2011. So this trailer ended up getting a lot more views, I think. I think before it was under 100 million, but because of the GTA 6 trailer, a lot of people went back and watched this one. Apparently it was around like 93 million views. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Such an iconic line. I felt bad that for GTA 6, I didn't get the parallel with its trailer. Do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Not exactly the same thing, but a uh, very similar opening. So Michael there, cause he wanted to get some good weather. Lucia there, cause of bad luck, she guesses. I guess it was the weather. Or the, ah, I don't know, that thing, that magic. You see it in the movies. I wanted to retire from what I was doing, you know? From that, that line of work. Be a good guy for once, a family man. So, I bought a big house, came here, put my feet up, and thought I'd be a dad like all the other dads. My kids would be like the kids on TV. We'd play ball and sit in the sun, but, well, you know how it is. I can see how that would be so unbelievably hype back in 2011. I like how vague Michael was, like, you know, I was doing some stuff and some things somewhere, and I, but I wanted to stop doing those. The graphics, though, like, was this done on 360? Surely not. No, this is, this is better than 360 graphics. Like, you can see how far GTA 6 has come from GTA 5, right? Comparing these two trailers. What quality is this? 720p? It's that long ago. No wonder it doesn't look as good as it could. You can see here how many trees and stuff are on the golf course. That is not the case in the final release. One of the things that I actually pointed out on the Ramble channel very recently, how much of the foliage, the um, trees and grass and plants and stuff had to be removed for the purposes of enabling it to work on the 360 PlayStation 3 version. This trailer, especially because it was done long before release, I guess they hadn't finalized that they were gonna be removing all that stuff. Franklin driving this red car in this context doesn't make any sense. Like this is the car from the Franklin Lamar mission, of course, but he wouldn't be driving it here because he's meant to be driving back towards Simeon's. Franklin does not look like Franklin. That is not what Franklin looks like. His face here way pudgier than it should be. Oh, I mean, maybe it's not Franklin. Yeah, maybe it's not, I mean, I don't know. He's driving the red car from the second mission and looks vaguely like Franklin. I mean, it's not meant to be Franklin, maybe it's just meant to be some guy. So this would be rounds. Oh, wait a second. This is Martin Madrazo's house. What? So there's just two random people doing yoga on his house? Like, I don't think that's his mistress or whatever. It's funny that they used his house, though, considering this was obviously not the end purpose for it. I think the amount of stuff on the side of the road is a lot higher than we got in the game, but it's hard for me to tell because I always play with such low distance scaling to specifically remove as much of this stuff as possible so I don't run into it. Mayo High Club, still not complete. Started long before the game even came out. Still not built. What are these guys doing? It's some sort of scam, guaranteed. Look at all these trees, dude. There's not this many trees and stuff in the game. I don't think in GTA 5 we ever got the ability to actually drop the poison with the crop duster. But of course, you get to do that in GTA Online like a lot later, I believe. Now this looks entirely different. Even with max population density, there's not this many people. Interestingly, that is Trevor's car in a different color. I've never seen a person ever hit a sign into the ground. Remove feature, how dare you, Rockstar? Check the last frame of motion blur shot. Oh, the city's not there. True. I mean, I didn't catch that. It's only there for like a couple of frames. 
One, two, three, four, five. So there's five frames. Good eye. It's foggy. There's no way that's fog. Fog does not come that heavy in a city. Need money for beer. Something, something. At least I'm not bullshitting. Oh, true. It's Nico Bellic falling on hard times, of course. This looks kind of like how it looks. It's a, bit, it's a lot more colorful, I think. Like, I don't think the colors are this bright and rich under this overpass in the game. Is that the same jet we get in the game? I guess it must be. Looks a little bit weird. That's a Hydra? The shape is a Hydra, engine is laser? Hmm. For a second I thought that was Jizzle there, but just some random guy getting chucked out. Blah. You can almost hear that sound effect. What's up, homie, huh? Blah. What's that in the background? What could it possibly be, chat? Enhance. Davy. See, so is that red car again? Is that Michael? No, see, it is meant to be Franklin. Like, surely that's meant to be Franklin. It's been, he's been showed twice. His, his face is just rounder than we got in the end game. See, this spot here is more like where he would be potentially. It's a told you it was Franklin. I am sure they put this in. So people are like, is that CJ? What the fuck? Is CJ coming back for GTA 5? It's a black guy with a white tank top. There's no other people in the entire universe or in any game ever that, is, that looks like that except CJ from San Andreas. Oh, this city looks beautiful, even in 720p. I really want to play this game, chat. Shame I have to wait a couple of years for it to release. Yeah, like, like, I suppose watching this trailer, you wouldn't immediately know that, like, the entire thing is that none of that really works out for Michael, right? I, I guess it's it's kind of suggested, though. And, it, of course, it's a video game, so you'd be like, oh, so these are his all his aspirations. The, all of them must have fucked up, or else we wouldn't have a video game. All in all, good trailer. And what would I rate this trailer? An S. No, should we give it an S? Like, it feels perfect, but obviously there were some graphical issues, and it didn't perfectly represent the final product with all the stuff that was removed. Like, people would get so hyped for a trailer like that. Screw it, I'm gonna give it an A, just in the hopes that there's something better than this. Something that would even more blow me away. Okay, so GT5 trailer 2, for some reason removed from the Rockstar Games channel, but we have it here on GameSpot. Came out a year and four days after the first one, so we can assume that is what you can expect for GTA 6 trailers as well. They will come out roughly a year after each other. I mean, maybe leading up to the release of the game, we get a lot more, because there's 15 trailers here. They couldn't have one a year for 15 years. Years leading up to GTA 5. So I guess we'll see the later dates. He is not staying the night. He's a god. You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years. And I got out alive. If you want my advice, give the shit up. Skeletons in your closet. It's in the good. Guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? That house right there, with the yellow stairs. I don't care how many cars you own, you ain't changing. I'm getting my money in the hood, I'm cool. Cool what? Slinging dope and throwing up gang signs? Your son, James. He's a good kid. Oh my god! Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. It's getting ready to go! It's getting ready to show! It's getting ready to go! That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. Yeah, whatever. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. Oh, it's So immediately, that must have been like 30 missions that we just saw. That looks so hype. It didn't spoil anything, but had like an action set piece, like every like five seconds. Okay, so we get a shot, of course, of the observatory. Davey, unfortunately not here. Things look pretty accurate for the release. I guess that's Michael and Amanda down there. Would, would you recognize this as Michael's house at this point? I guess people probably made that connection because later on they'd be able to see Michael down here.
This car has no number plate. This is not the same car as Amanda's car. This is the 9F, right? So I guess they hadn't finalized what car Amanda was gonna have. This though, Michael is wearing a shirt in the official release of Father Son during this uh, cutscene. But he does look different, which we're gonna see in a bit. So these shorts are the shorts you use on Dai's little girl. He still picks up the leaf and chucks it. I like that Michael is speaking here, but it doesn't show you like who he's speaking to. Obviously he would normally be speaking to Franklin, but I guess they removed him. So it didn't make it obvious the connection that they had. I think he's also missing the music here. I think normally he'd have them, um, the headphones in his ears listening to music. So this is our first look at Blaine County. And this is our first look at Trevor, I believe. He definitely looks different. This this looks different from the Trevor that we get in the actual game. He looks chubbier. All the characters look a bit chubbier, I think. Him throwing a Molotov here back into the building. That's not correct. So this is the O'Neill's house exploding, but you can't do that. If you try to leave, move that far distance and throw a Molotov back in, you'd mission fail. The explosion is smaller. Yeah, this, this, this explosion is smaller compared to the uh, final release. Michael looking haggard, fatter, and older. I mean, Lamar looks exactly the same, but I still think Franklin looks chubbier. Look, look it, it, you can't tell me he doesn't look chubbier. 100%. Yeah, I think maybe his look was meant to make him look more inexperienced and young, new to the scene, while Michael was meant to more obviously in his face show how haggard he was. It's the quality? Nah, I, I don't think in the game you can make him look like that. This will be first look at Tanisha too. Franklin's house isn't normally this colorful, is it? Okay, this doesn't make sense. This is from Pac-Man. You can see the JB700 ever falling off here, I guess with Franklin in it, but you're in the city right now. So I guess they hadn't finalized where this mission was gonna take place. What is this scene? Oh, I guess this scene is from I Fought the Law, stealing that car. Ah, oh, but this car shouldn't be white then. This should be a red car. See, look how haggard Michael looks. He looks more obviously scarred and destroyed from his previous life, making it more obvious why he wants to get away from it. He looks more handsome and physically fine in the official release. He looks more slimy. Yeah, he looks more like a, a slick gangster who's going to rip you off. While Michael in the official release looks like he has more charisma, like a bit more of a con artist. Do we see that? I guess that might be our first look at Wade over there. And of course, Trevor stepping on Johnny, but we don't see Johnny here. So we got Ashley, Wade, and Ron looking pretty different. He's even got tattoos here. I don't think that's normal. This looks way different. I don't think this is how the bank vault explosion looks in the final release. Earlier version, I think. What's this though? So this is Franklin on a bike. What mission would this be? I guess it could be Death Wish. I mean, he does go along this road on Death Wish and there is some evidence that he had a different bike in earlier versions of the game. Derailed, of course. Merryweather fleet's here, bro. Back to Three's company. Oh, there's, oh, Franklin's bike's there. Oh, so I guess by this point in time, Franklin's bike had been finalized. And then of course is Michael's, no, it can't be Michael's car. I guess it's Dave's car. It is Michael's car. This is meant to be Dave's car then, but I guess in this version, Michael brought himself here with his own car and therefore his car is here. This heli is incorrect as well. It shouldn't be an attack helicopter. It's a normal helicopter in the actual release. There's a jet chasing two helicopters, why? And shoots them down. I don't think this is anything we got in the game. That's a Hydra? It's the cut mission? Because Hydra didn't make it into GTA 5, but it's in online, right? It actually hits the helicopter, but you die. This of course, the blitz play setup. This also incorrect in that the scene should be facing the other way. Like they should be facing towards where they are here. So it's slightly off where they should be standing in the official game. And that ends it. Honestly, a really, really good trailer. I mean, I, I do think this is better than the first trailer. Even though the first trailer is more iconic. Like how would you not be it's insanely hyped for the game seeing all that? It's not better than the first. I think it is better than the first. I think the first is just more iconic. Yeah, I'm gonna put an S. I think it's a perfect trailer. So next up, Michael's trailer. So this comes May 1st, 2013. So it's like, what, six months, eight months. So not a full year for the third trailer. And of course it's a trailer specifically for Michael, so not the entire game. What do you want, Michael? I, I don't know. I want something that isn't this. I want to be a good dad, love my family, live the dream. Why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? Come here! Don't kill him! But at the same time, I really want the other stuff too. And you're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I'm pretty average for this town. Now. 
I think you need a new therapist. All we hear is Radio Gaga, Radio Goo Goo. I gotta say, Radio I think this song really elevates that trailer. That's a great song. There was actually a surprising amount of things here, I think. So, Dr. Freeman looks older, in a way. Uh, maybe it's just his hair's less puffy, like these is lower graphics, maybe. Michael looks more normal, looks more like he actually is in the game, compared to the other trailers, I think. But yeah, it's hard to tell, because it could just be different lighting. This is, of course, a man in his car, but still not got the correct number plate, saying Crystal. This scene with Tracy yelling, Dad! So the line, Jimmy called me a bitch, is from complications when Franklin is breaking in. And in such a context, Michael wouldn't be downstairs drinking like this. So this is audio played in a, the wrong scene. Wait, this is incorrect. This is of course from Thay's Little Girl, but Jimmy can't leave the actual track that you're meant to take. He calls you a cheater for taking this path. You fucking cheated! So it's correct that this is the right mission, but I guess they didn't have the exact pathing for the race sketched out. This is more correct, I think. This is the path you're meant to take. So why did the, in the previous one they were over there? Okay, this is not correct. They are in the wrong spot for this conversation. They should be further down the pier. Jimmy doesn't normally look like that either. Yeah, I don't recognize this outfit at all. And of course, this from Blitz Play. This is Michael placing the bomb when it should be Franklin. Oh, there it is. It's got the right number plate here. So I guess the previous scene was shot at a different point. Okay, see, look, this is lower quality, but he obviously still looks different from the previous trailer. This looks more like Michael. He looks younger, less haggard. He still looks old, but he doesn't look as tired. Oh man, he just... Messing up Simeon here. What the hell? Oh, that elbow. Look, he, look how serious he looks. And Fabian, I guess he didn't have his style down at this point because he's wearing my outfit. Michael beating me up. I mean, from this angle, this looks like me. They predicted my rise in GTA 5 content creation all the way back then. Michael doing some golf here. So I guess this is just a side activity. But like this, can we even get this angling game? I think if you do a really bad shot, he does actually hit his golf club into the ground. I think. And the point here is to, to show Michael raging at life. Well, this is incorrect because Jimmy should be playing Slaughterhouse. It's called, called Slaughterhouse? Righteous Slaughter, that's it. Michael's bed doesn't look like that. I mean, it has red pillows and stuff. Oh, this is Jimmy's bed? What this probably is, is at the end of Did Somebody Say Yoga, when he comes home, if you walk through the house and you go and read the notes or whatever, and then it just cuts away and Michael's smoking on the um, front porch, I guess maybe the cutscene might have been longer originally and he would have just laid on the bed contemplating existence. Possibly. So this is the other version of the Jewel Store Heist? Wait a second. So this is prologue, but the gun's missing is magazine, right? What's really funny about that is the game released and there was magazines in guns for a long time. And then for like a six year stretch or something, the game was broken. So the magazines were removed from cutscenes. And like two years ago or something, they fixed it. So they came back. GTA 5 update 1.52 notes. Story mode. Fixed an issue that caused some weapon magazines and attachments to be missing during cutscenes. What took you so long? What took you so long? <laughs> and so it's just funny that in the trailer, they were foreshadowing that bug that would one day happen in the game. And you're right, this, uh, this outfit looks different. This is not the snow outfit that he uses in Prologue. This is like the outfit that he uses in the Jewel Store Heist, as you can see back here. Back on Three's company, shooting down helicopters. They're in the correct helicopter now, compared to the previous one where it looked like they were getting into attack helicopter. Oh, and you can see Mr. K. Mr. K's here too. Oh, of course he is Mr. K as well. Although you can't see Franklin over here, and this is way low quality. Franklin should be there somewhere. Wait, can you see Franklin in the actual cutscene? So it turns out Franklin spawns the moment Michael jumps through the window. However, you can never see him on the building during this cutscene due to the camera angle. Okay, this is completely different. This house is completely wrong. This is meant to be way bigger. There's meant to be a table in the room, and that's it. So I don't think that's as good as the previous one, but it's still really good. And I think elevated a lot by the music. I don't think it's an S. Like, is that gonna make me more hyped than the previous ones? I'm gonna give it an A. I think it introduces Michael really well. Like what he's about, gets you interested. Got some good action set pieces. The music is banging. A. Yeah. So now Franklin, wait, they all dropped at the same time? So Franklin also dropped May 1st, 2013, and I guess Trevor would as well then? Interesting. I do wonder how this one's gonna go though, considering Franklin a bit downplayed in the story. I like the character, don't get me wrong, it's just he is the 
inexperienced, more ignorant character who gets everything explained to him. You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! He exists in part so that stuff that Trevor and Michael know can be explained or has a reason to be explained. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? That's all we got? That's our heritage. I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You sounded more and more like a snee eye yes every day. I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Courtesy of a hundred feet. Got my trips and essays in all reach. Ah, gangster shit. You ain't got no respect. Y'all got respect for reality. Enjoy them holes, homie. Yeah, whatever. I think that song really fits Franklin. Immediately though, I don't think this is as good as the Michael trailer. It had less hype stuff in it. I still think it's A, maybe B. We'll, we'll go through it, we'll, we'll see, we'll see here. So this looks way cleaner than it should be. In the game, I'm pretty sure this place looks dirty as all hell. I don't think there's traditionally a lot of people here either. So of course we've got Franklin, looking like Franklin finally. Still looks a little bit different, but looks like Franklin now. He's talking to Lamar and Denise, of course, on Hood Safari. Denise looks a lot different. That isn't normally wearing this jumper in this scene. Where's this? So it's Franklin hitting a baller. Uh, I guess it's meant to be on Hood Safari, but is it the correct stream? I, I think it's further up than it should be. It doesn't introduce Chop, how dare you? Me and Chop got a lot in common. That bitch just fucking bit me, man! Yo, annoying ass. Let's roll, little homie. Come on. Hey, I like your dog, homie. You hear that, Chop? You hear Frank trying to screw you. Man, hey, Chop, go get that fool. What you think, Chop? What you think? Big dog, big nuts. And thank you, Chop. What is this orange car that has been driven here and this red car? I don't know what mission this would be. A street races may be true, true. I mean, this helicopter, they're chasing these cars. I guess this just must be some free roam stuff, maybe. Yeah, because because this wouldn't be street races with the police car here. Is it just me or do the strippers look better in this trailer? Were strippers nerfed? You tell me, chat, is this finally P GTA 5 cops? Not GTA 4 cops? Yes, finally GTA 5 cops. Okay, good. As long as you're happy. This scene of them hitting their hands like that, I'm pretty sure that's at the end of Lamar Down and shouldn't be in this scene. Why would Franklin be on a bike wearing this suit here? This is him getting away from the jewel store heist, but he's on the wrong street. You don't you don't take this route here. He's going the wrong way. So maybe they changed the heist route. See, this is correct. Actually, no, uh, no, this is correct. Yeah, they, they're, they're on the right and Michael's normally on the left. You don't control these bikers at this point though. Yeah, you can see Michael here and faceless person. Oh, is that a hacker we can take? I thought we could take Ricky or Paige. Yeah, I think this is the wrong person. <laughs> I love this look, he does it in the game as well. It's, it's so good. So this is long stretch. And wait, Franklin's car sitting there, I don't think is correct. It's normally a different car. It normally gives you a shit car, but you have the option like running across the street to take your car if you brought one here. So it's a shootout on long stretch. Franklin looking serious and there's, we, we never get this angle in the game, I don't think. He's using a shotgun. He's using a shotgun against the uh, helicopter in the sky, that makes no sense. Gang members here getting arrested. I don't know where that would be from. Oh, TV show. Yeah, possibly. A part of it might be when it comes down to it, there's not that many Franklin dedicated missions, I think compared to the other characters. As I say, when I was making my lore video, the amount of questions I got for Trevor and Michael were comparable. But for Franklin, it was about half as many because he just has less of the game focused on him. Let's go through the dialogue. I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You sounded more and more like... He doesn't normally look like that when he's saying this, right? It's a completely different scene on Lamar Down. Where Lamar's like, I thought we were friends. He's like, yeah, I, I thought we were too, but I thought we were meant to be getting out of this shit. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You sounded more and more like a snee eye yes every day. That is also incorrect. This line is from the end of Long Stretch. You sounded more and more like a snee eye yes every day. Hell no, yeah. nigga, I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. But this has been moved back to Chop. It's not just a wrong angle, no, that, that this line's from a different mission. I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. 
So yeah, this, this is this is correct, except wrong time of day, I think. Because this is a line from the end of long stretch, and I think it always has to end at night. So this is not how this interaction should take place. Ah, gangster shit. Is that actually the line that he says? I, I want to check this one. I hear that. Gangster shit, nigga. Ah, uh, that's why it's different. They removed the N word. Ah, gangster shit. <laughs> I was like, that sounds off for some reason. <laughs> okay, it's a trailer, of course they're gonna remove it. Enjoy the holes, homie. Yeah, whatever. What? What is that line? Enjoy the holes, homie. Yeah, whatever. Enjoy the hose? But in what context does Lamar say to Le Franklin, enjoy the holes? Yeah, whatever. Franklin's saying, yeah, whatever. This does happen on long stretch, but he's saying it to Aunt Denise. So what I think of this trailer? It's still a good trailer. I just think Franklin has less material, so it's not going to be as engaging as Michael's. I don't want to put in A, chat. I'm going to be controversial right now. I'm going to put this in B. I'm sorry. Okay. Trevor. Came out same day, of course. May 1st, 2013. Who has the most views? Okay, Michael has the most. Michael, followed by Franklin, followed by Trevor. Who's way less, actually. A million less. Interesting. Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Major drug deal. Real... Hillbilly type shit. Bring me my cocker, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Oh, it's the same old tune. Fiddle and guitar. Back in town, oh. baby, yeah! Come, please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishing. Rhinestone suits and oh. New in town, I'm making friends, all right? It's been the same A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. Oh. Oh. Just keep him away from me and the children. Why not a nice new tits, by the way? What is wrong with you? Got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. Oh, I've seen the world. Yeah! Get a shot, amigo. Looking at the back of me. <laughs> Boy, massage. Uh, no, no, I really don't. Do you want me to get my dick out again? But I don't think he ain't done them this way. I think, I think it was a pretty good trailer. I, I don't, still don't think it was as good as Michael's though. I'm gonna put this in B probably as well, but let's, let's go through it first. So this scene where he's howling at the moon, this is something he does, but I can't think of where. It's just a switch scene. I'm having a hard time picturing it in my head. I, I think it's in a different spot. This is obviously from the section where Michael and Trevor have to stay away from Los Santos, away from Martin Madrazo. He doesn't have tattoos. Yeah, shouldn't there be a Michael tattoo at least here and stuff? Oh, true, he doesn't have the one around his neck either though cut here and i guess this is just from when he's taking out the bikers although who like you, do you even really get access to the baseball bat you can get a baseball bat right yeah you can find them but like i doubt anyone would have used a baseball bat during this mission trevor with his truck is this the first official confirmation we have that like this is his car I guess maybe so him picking him up here is going for derailed right Givron okay, actually looks like himself now though this isn't correct. He gets in the crop duster on minor turbulence when he's inside this here. I don't think there's any other context where he uses a crop duster where it'd be outside of the hangar. Ah. <laughs> Does this happen on Trevor's interactions with the sporty chick? Can never remember her name? Does he punch someone here? All right, just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something. Oh, I wish you were dead. I really do. Mm. Ah. Oh, I love you! Because I remember him like proposing to her and being like, I love you, we should get married, and her uh, freaking out. I didn't know she punched someone here. Forgot about that. This does happen, I believe, but Amanda's not wearing this when she says this. If she was like, I supported you, and there's still that crazy guy came back into our lives. What mission does this happen on? Oh, no, it is yoga, because then um, Fabian walks up. That's right. But she's not wearing this, though. Well, this is meant to be Nervous Ron, but it looks a bit weird. Nah, I guess there's just more explosions than you would normally have. Uh, this is incorrect. There should be a train behind them. Because this is uh, the end of the Pluto heist. So this flying with this helicopter is meant to be the end of Eye in the Sky. And this scene we never get to see where Trevor takes the helicopter from this dude. Because obviously in the actual mission, Trevor isn't the one flying it. But at the end, if you switch to Trevor, you can find him in this helicopter, showing that he stole it. I hope it was a soft landing! Which uh, is meant to be after this scene, but we just didn't get this scene in the full game. I guess this is meant to be him killing the movie star or whatever for the Thornhills. Just diving the car into a train? Completely optional? Does Wade have this face stuff on in this scene? This is the start of Mayweather Heist. Does he have the face paint on? He sometimes has this on, but I don't think in this particular scene. Like, he has it in an earlier scene when they're back in Blaine County. 
go through the dialogue. I ever tell you about Trevor? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Major drug dealer. So that was Tao Cheng's translator. This line from Michael sounds so weird. I tell you about Trevor? Oh, oh. Like that? That's Trevor. Doesn't that sound out of place? I tell you about Trevor? Oh, oh. Is, is that how it sounds in the actual scene with Franklin at the end of Dead Man Walking? Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? I mean, yeah, I guess that's just how the line sounds in the game, but it sounds like multiple takes cut together. Real hillbilly type shit. Les's line there, real hillbilly type shit, isn't referencing Trevor. It's what he says at the end of the Bureau Raid. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine hillbilly type shit. When they're about to have moonshine or whatever. Something new in town, I'm making friends, all right? Th that line, of course, from Hood Safari. He's talking to Lamar and Franklin. Boy, massage. Uh, no, no, I really don't. Do you want me to get my dick out again? I think it does introduce who Trevor is as a character, but I still don't think it's above a B. It's not super hype. It's a good trailer for Trevor, but not to hype up the game, you know? Like, if you just saw that tra this trailer in isolation and knew nothing about GTA V, you'd be like, eh. Now, I have been told that apparently I missed the trailer, which doesn't contain more footage, but it is the combination of Michael Franklin and Trevor's trailers. Oh, so that's why they released all three at the same time. So they released all three as one video and then all three separately. But this did get 15 million views. So combines this 15 million plus the 5 million plus the 5 million plus the 4 million. That's 24 million. So good thing to know about that trailer. So next up, GTA 5 official gameplay video. Five minutes. And this came out two months after the previous three trailers. So I guess they're ramping up the promotion or what have you just before the game's going to release. But five minutes, damn. With Grand Theft Auto V, Rockstar have tried to reimagine the open world game in a number of ways. The game world is beautiful, massive, and diverse. A sprawling, satirical reimagining of modern Southern California, covering mountains and oceans, expensive stores and strip malls, urban decay and untouched wilderness, beaches and backwoods, the sublime and the ridiculous, greed and hypocrisy. You tell me exactly what you want, and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. For the first time, the game features not one, but three would-be heroes. So now what? Michael, a once successful bank robber, and now less successful family man. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just say to me? Stop it! You're ruining my yoga! Franklin. A hungry street hustler convinced he's surrounded by morons. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting cheap asshole. And then there's Trevor. The less said about him, the better. Ah! Introducing three lead characters transforms both the narrative into one interwoven story and the structure of individual missions. Players can cut between vantage points. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. And from one high octane moment to another. I got you. He's got support! Get us out of here! Roger that! This helps to give missions new levels of diversity and intensity. Damn. When not on a mission, the use of three lead characters also allow for a touch of voyeurism. As you can drop in at any moment and find out what your new friends have been up to as they go about their days. Jeez, Pop, too much more of that and maybe I won't be dead by 35. The world is not only huge, it's packed with a vast array of things to see and do. Cars to customize, planes to fly, clothes to buy, sports to play, nirvanas to pursue, oceans to dive, animals to spot, hunt, and be hunted by, freaks to watch, meet, and befriend, I get the hell out of here. bounties to hunt, and on and on. How have you been? Oh. 
Simply wonderful. And you? Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. There's also been a huge focus on mechanics in the game to make every aspect as fun and fluid as it is broad. Everything from driving and shooting to tennis and bike riding feels fun and responsive. However, alongside all of this leisure, people also have to take care of business. For all their pretensions, these men are dangerous thieves. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack. To survive, they have to set up and pull off a series of increasingly audacious heists. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? The player sets these up themselves, then decides how they execute them and with whom. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, let's go. Or we go in loud and dumb. Let's go! This is your moment! Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing. After the take is divided, you decide what to spend your money on. Anything from sensible investments, like tattoos and fast cars, to risky ventures like stocks and Los Santos real estate. And then there's Grand Theft Auto Online, which we will show you properly soon. That trailer was amazing. I've been playing this game for like 10 years and watching this trailer, I'm just like, man, I really want to play this game. <laughs> that is an S tier trailer. Like I was feeling things like hype, even though I've been playing the game for over 10,000 hours. The voice is just so hypnotic and, and smooth and clean and in a weird way, it kind of actually told us everything you can do in the game. There was really not much left out there. And I guess people agree that it's a super hype trailer, considering the Trevor trailer only got 4 million viewers, while this got like 10 times that. There was some interesting stuff. The blimp! It seems like in every single scene of the city, there's a blimp somewhere. I can only imagine though how hyped everyone would have been when they saw this trailer. I wish I was around for it. This doesn't look right. You do end up swimming under here in the Fraser Merriweather heist. But like, I, I think there's more crates normally, right? Or maybe it's just more murky so you don't see this as much. Free room flying of the plane here. Of course, the map looks different. I mean, it's the 360 version, obviously. Or the PlayStation 3 version. I mean, do you ever actually see agents just hanging out in front of the FIB buildings and stuff? I guess a little bit. I've seen people there. I don't think I've actually seen agents there. Of course, Simeon speaking to Franklin. Good old Simeon. See, this is weird. It's got the employee of the month plaque and it shows Simeon. When in this scene, it should show Franklin. Obviously, this should be Franklin at this point, because Franklin hasn't betrayed Simeon yet. Now, this scene, these three, of course, never stand up here on the Blitz Play heist, and the truck is missing from down here. These three standing like this, as I've mentioned in Facts and Glitches, this is from the third way, but they've moved it here, you know, to give a false impression. This foot does not look real. It looks like a rubber foot. Like, like the toes are even like wedged together. This is not in the game. This is in the game. There is a switch that you do. I, in fact, showed this switch in a short of mine that got a lot of views. I think because a lot of people haven't seen it. Of course, again, Three's Company. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? There's a graphical mistake. I guess they forgot to add that wall so you can't see through the entire building. When in here, like you can get here with a glitch because if you spam click the pistol shot, it makes your character fly around the scene. And if you clip into here, this is somewhat what it looks like, but you have to like go further. I guess they just forgot to leave a wall there. Yep, canceled. How dare they make such a mistake? I wonder how hyped people were for this ability to switch characters. Were any of you around during this? What did people say about it? Were they hyped like, oh my god, three characters switching between scenes, oh my god. Like, I like it as a feature, but it's not like unbelievable now having experienced it for 10 years. But I think back then it would have been insane. Are you saying on the map it showed multiple... Oh, it does show two ambitions. Is there any context in which that could actually occur? I'm pretty sure no, but certainly not without having a mission at Michael's house. Yeah, it might be the case that all missions at one point were called like M rather than some missions for Michael being called L because they involve Lester. So this is again, Amanda's car. Oh, this is uh, Franklin and Jizzle on Father Son. And this is different here. Like this should be up here somewhere, right? Isn't this in a different spot? Doesn't this look different than how it looked in the game? It's funny that he then changes the number plate. <laughs> I mean, who the hell ever did yoga on this mountain? You can do that, you know. There is a yoga minigame on top of one of the mountains. No one does it. 
This is of course from Monkey Business, but we do this at night. I believe we're forced to do it at night. Oh yeah, the map is weird. The safe house is just in the middle of nowhere. Interestingly, it was using the scene from Monkey Business, but right now it's showing the map. And that obviously can't be in the mission. Or it wouldn't show the other missions. There are missions! They're in missions! Of course, from Lamar Down. The weapon wheel looks so weak. This isn't what it looked like on 360 and PlayStation 3, right? It, like, it looks outdated, but maybe it's just because I'm so used to what it looks like now. This is how it looked on old gen. It's definitely way worse. When I go back and play the older GTAs without the weapon wheel, I, I just miss it. Like, I think the weapon wheel was such a good addition to the game. I, I guess I haven't played a lot of games from around that time. Were there other games that utilized a weapon wheel in the same way that GTA 5 did? Red Dead 1, Far Cry 3, Max Payne 3. Yeah, surely this couldn't have been the first game to do it. Just free roam stuff, shooting range, tennis, bike riding. It's triathlon, I guess. What a scrub pulling that early. You can go the entire way to the final point in one go without ever pulling your parachute. Franklin's bike here is wrong, right? No, actually, you can upgrade the bagger to remove its carrying things from the sides. Maybe this is the correct bike, but it's just upgraded, which uh, is not something I'm used to doing. True, this isn't Michael's car. It looks like Amanda's car. Hold on a second. I have never in my entire life noticed Michael moving in. Like he's obviously gotten out of the garbage truck and moved in. I think he does that normally. I just, I don't think I ever noticed. It's only now watching it slowly. I've, I've really registered him being there. Jewel store, heist, everything looks normal. Hun. It's, it's weird. They do this again. They represent the robbery of money on prologue as being from the jewel store heist. I don't know why they keep doing this. You can't keep getting away with it. Oh, the magazines here, at least. Of course, I fought the law. Now, this is interesting because I wonder if th at this point in release, they were still convinced that they would have a useful active stock market in GT Online. Did that ever actually get to release? Or was that just a rumor? It was at launch, and I guess it was just too manipulatable. Now, this doesn't exist in single player. The way that it frames it here suggests that it does exist in single player. That you could purchase apartments in single player, which you definitely can't. You can purchase real estate, but you can't even purchase that from Dynasty 8 in your phone. You actually have to go to the places on the map. See, now they start talking about online. Wait, you wouldn't normally be able to see people's health bars, yeah? Oh, it, oh it says GTA Dev 2, GTA Dev 3. GTA Dev 19, GTA Dev 10, GTA Dev 8. Wouldn't it be funny if they had like leaderboards and like every month you, your, your ranking would change? GTA Dev 1 over there representing. That's funny. I think in many cases you're hard pressed even seeing people out your window. I think you can, but you, you definitely can't see health bars. It, it was just a mock up, I suppose, to indicate that, that these are actual people. But then why not just give them names rather than calling them GTA Dev? <laughs> Broke Dev only got 52K. What a scrub. And it's showing on the map every single person. Yeah, I, I guess this is like an early build. Like, obviously, but that's not how it works in actual GT Online. Okay, let's go through the dialogue. The game features not one, but three would-be heroes. So now what? Yeah, see, see, that line is from the third way. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just say to me? Stop it! You're ruining my yoga! Did somebody say yoga? <laughs> Remove the swearing, though, because she says... Stop it! You, you, you're ruining my fucking yoga! It's a very what harsh cut there. Stop it! You're ruining my yoga! Franklin, a hungry street hustler, convinced he's surrounded by morons. He's not wrong! He's convinced of that because they are morons! Well, at least Lamar is. And then there's Trevor. The less said about Wait, what? Cheap and then there's Trevor. That fuck sounds like Michael. Is that me? Am I crazy? And then there's Trevor. That does not sound like Trevor. It sounds like Michael. Introducing three lead characters transforms both the narrative into one interwoven story. Speaking of the interwovenness of the story, Lamar never meets Michael. Does Franklin ever meet Wade and Ron? I think he might be in the same room as them on the Mayweather heist. Like, what I mean is, there are kind of three stories that happen in the game with different characters being more or less connected to different parts of it kind of thing, right? Like, each character has their own sort of distinct worlds separate from the others. And then there's also, like, an overarching story that they're all involved in to some degree. And for that reason, key characters in different main characters' lives don't meet the other main characters. 
actually, that's a good point. Michael does meet Lamar and speaks to him on Franklin Lamar, but then he doesn't remember it, so it doesn't count. As you can drop in at any moment and find out what your new friends have been up to as they go about their days. Jeez, Pop. See, th th there's Michael's car. That's the correct car. Why didn't they use the correct car in later scenes? The world is not only huge, it's packed with a vast array of things to see and do. I mean, the more I reflect on it, though, I, like, it doesn't have that much stuff. It has quite a bit. I think even compared to GTA 4, like, it didn't have as much mini games and stuff, right? Cars to customize. Planes to fly. It's weird that you can't customize planes. You can online? I've never done that online. I know you can't in single player. Freaks to watch, meet, and befriend. Do you think Rockstar would be willing to refer to some people as freaks in their trailer these days? What I think they would rather do is have a character in the game call someone a freak. To survive, they have to set up and pull off a series of increasingly audacious heists. Gentlemen. The player sets these up themselves, then decides how they execute them and with whom. There's two ways I see it. I don't think the heist changed enough based on who you took on it. Like they had this mechanic where they're meant to like get more skilled over the course of the game when you take these NPCs or whatever, but that doesn't really end up going anywhere. It's like, hey, Gus got another 25% skill. Who cares? There's not enough heists in the game that that really ends up being an important feature. I wonder if in online, originally they were gonna have NPCs that could help you, and maybe the characters that you did in single player, like building them up, could then be used in online if you didn't have a third or fourth person to play with, and that just didn't get into the game. The low skill would die, yeah, th th there were small things that would change with the heist, but not really, right? It wouldn't significantly alter how the heist played out or what you could do in the game afterwards. It was just a, oh no, this character's been arrested, and, and then it's done. And then there's Grand Theft Auto Online, which we will show you properly soon. Soon! So yeah, S trailer. Awesome. I clearly want to play this game. It is great. That gameplay would have just blown my mind 10 years ago, as I'm sure it did everyone else's. So what, like 20 days later, they released another minute trailer. Grand Theft Auto V, the official trailer, which is different from Grand Theft Auto V trailer. This is the official trailer. So this came out August 30th. You got one minute to wow me, Rockstar. A few weeks ago, I was happily sulking by my swimming pool. What do you want? I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I'm retired. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere. Nobody tells me what I want! To torture me over mistakes I made over a decade ago. So you're back in the game? I guess. Yes! Woo! Welcome back, man! We're all professionals, we all know the score. This is legit business. 401ks, tax returns, and all. We're gonna move quick, and we're gonna keep cool. My job, my score, get uh, your own! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Those are group hugs out of the question. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto V. Coming September 17th, rated M for Mature. That is an impressive use of a minute. Like that's the kind of first time we saw all three characters kind of intermesh in a way that seemed to make it make sense. The music was so good, so classic GTA 5. Yeah, I really like that. I think I want to call that an S tier trailer. If for nothing else, it is so amazingly hyped in only a minute. Let's pixel peep this. Franklin now finally interacting with Michael. Like we saw this exact scene before, but obviously Michael didn't look correct and he wasn't speaking to Franklin. I guess they're now more revealing the interactions, the way these two characters play together. Should Michael at this point still have the headset in listening to music? But there's a weird cut in his arm there. Like it's not fitting correctly in the character model. These three running up here is not how this looks in the game, in the Polito score heist. You slowly walk up and then open the door. And I guess this is meant to be Mr. Phillips, but Trevor's meant to be walking in that direction over there and he's not meant to be wearing black. Yeah, I, I can't think of another scene where Wade and Ron both run after Trevor as he's walking away like that. So this is the end of the offshore Mayweather heist. Oh, they removed the blood. Normally there's blood when he hits that. This still doesn't look like the explosion of the vaults on Prologue. It looks too low quality. This is clearly Prologue, but it doesn't look correct. And the camera angles are wrong as well. I don't say wrong, just different, you know. 
this is not correct. This scene is from the end of Derailed. And this is some other car that has been organized for Michael and Trevor, not Trevor's car. I think this might be the wrong spot as well. This doesn't look exactly right. Like they're at a different point on the beach. I guess this is meant to be the Bureau Raid firefighter version, but they're not wearing the firefighter outfits. And there's explosions here. I guess maybe in the original Bureau Raid, rather than going the outside of the building, you actually went inside like you do in the firefighter version as well. I don't think there's any particular scene in the game. I guess it's just meant to be free roam, even though there's like a tank. Is he, is he blowing up that tank with one jet? Get out of here. That's not how that works. Is that meant to be Trevor? If that's meant to be Trevor, then this could be cut content from Lamar Down. Is there not much additional stuff there, but let's look through the dialogue as well. A few weeks ago, I was happily sulking by my swimming pool. Please. It's clearly a cut. What does he originally say there? A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. Happily retired, that's it. A few weeks ago, I was happily sulking by my... A few weeks ago, I was happily retired. Why would they change that line? Swimming pool. What do you want? I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I'm retired. My side oh, yeah, I suppose, because I didn't want him saying, I'm retired twice. That makes sense. Good choice. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere. Nobody tells me what I want! To torture me. Where's that line from? Nobody tells me what I want. On the Merryweather heist? Yeah, I can't think of it. Torture me over mistakes I made over a decade ago. I think that's also shortens. It's meant to be over mistakes, honest mistakes I made. He says honest mistakes though, I think. Those are group hugs out of the question. <laughs> so this is from the surveying the score. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one. What is the big one? Group hugs out of the question. And this is from the end of the wrap up when Les is speaking on the phone. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Mm, we're all friends now. Suppose the group hugs out of the question. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5, coming September 17th. Rated M for Mature. The voice at the end. Grand Theft Auto 5. That's hot. I like it. Giving that one an S. It's gonna be very interesting comparing these trailers to the later ones for the re-releases of the game. But this next one is a short 30 second one. So this trailer, Grand Theft Auto 5, Xbox 360 TV spot, flashes forward to after the game releases, which is of course September 2013. So this is December 12th. So that's, you know, a couple of months after it releases. Yeah. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! I can't wait, I can't wait. One last score. It works for me, it can work for you, babe. I got more to lose than you. You don't I got nothing. So what now? Let's hug it out. Grand Theft Auto 5, out now. Rated M for Mature. That Xbox logo? That is a cool song. And you can just feel like, I know the excitement, this success, like we did it. We're the best. Yeah! It is only 30 seconds. I can't put that in S or something. Like, it, 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 it's just fine. We wouldn't even call that an amazing trailer. It's just like, you guys know who we are. You know we're great. Like, I'll probably give like, like a B, I think. And I guess now because the game's out and has been finalized, I doubt we're going to see anything new here. The most immersive spectacle in interactive entertainment. That's, that's high praise. Yeah, honestly, it largely just seems to be like cutscenes and me going through the dialogue would just be like, that's this mission, that's this mission, that's this mission, that's this mission. I don't think there's anything new or different there. I mean, actually even giving a B feels a bit generous because it is just after all a mashup of cutscenes. Being like, yo, we're the best. I can give it a C. So another couple months later, June 10, 2014. Grand Theft Auto 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC announcement trailer. So this is the next gen. The critically acclaimed and record-breaking Grand Theft Auto V comes to a new generation this fall. And so this is when I jumped on chat. As I've told the story before, I had no particular interest in Grand Theft Auto V or really Grand Theft Auto at all. I think I, think I was saying to one of my friends, like, I have no games to play. And they're like, oh, you know, that Grand Theft Auto V is coming out soon. I'm like, oh, it is? I'd already seen, like, the cutscene movie on YouTube and it seemed pretty good. And I was like, oh, I'll go play it then. And then I think, like, two weeks after it officially released, it had been sitting in my Steam library for a couple of weeks. And I saw Whitwick's speedrunning it. And at that point, I was already a streamer looking for something to speedrun. I was like, huh, well, I'm looking for something speedrun it looks pretty interesting and i happened to buy the game like a couple of weeks ago so i guess i'll give it a go and the rest is history a bunch of things that just happened to occur for me to already have the game and happen to stumble across the witwix speedrunning it and happening to need something to speedrun which brought me into this entire ecosystem and led to me playing the game for eleven thousand hours <laughs> you know so
I mean, like, you can tell what the purpose of this trailer is. As it says here, this trailer was captured on PlayStation 4. It's meant to be for people who already know about the game, have already played it to some degree, convincing them, like, hey, look how beautiful this game looks now. I don't think this is an amazing trailer. There's no, like, action. There's no hype. There's, it's not selling the game. It's selling a graphics update. I think it looks beautiful. It does that well. The music complements it quite well. It's not a badly made trailer, but I don't think it's amazing. Like, I, I'm going to put it in C. It does its task well. They had no one to convince anymore. Yeah, I guess, I guess to a degree. It's like, you know what this game is, but now it looks even better. <laughs> right, for a second, I thought these were cougars. I was like, oh, nah, it's, it's coyotes. Okay. There are no cougars in GT5 trailers. The one thing is like, have you ever seen five hammerhead sharks at the same time? I may, I may have seen like three or four hammerhead sharks in the entire time that I've been playing the game. They did make it look a lot more alive. Like this here. This scene of Franklin walking with this many people all hanging around at night. There's a, usually quite a few people here, but me, this many people? It wasn't a trailer that blew me away, but it's good. So the next one, Grand Theft Auto V, a picket fence and a dog named Skip from September 12, 2014. So it still hasn't released yet on Xbox One, PlayStation 4 or PC. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> it's tragedy. Pathos, tedium, bored. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. No paranoia, no weirdness, but I do get concerned about the monsters. I want a picket fence and a husband and a dog named Skip. You do? Kinda. Make him pure! Good to see you, dog. Continue the search for the truth. We're not worthy. Back into my place. Celebs, they're not like you or me. I mean. This is a smart move. I'm sure they could see on the back end the amount of people who played the side missions and stuff versus just played through the entire game. And so they're probably looking going, ah, oh, only 25% of people played all the side missions or something. So we should just make a trailer with all the content from side missions and be like, hey, maybe there's not a huge amount of new content with this release, but like think of how much you haven't done in the game. Even I'm only passingly familiar with all the side missions. Maybe I've done them like well, I've done Franklin's like a bajillion times because they're required for 100%. But Michael's and Trevor's, I've done maybe like three, four times. As a way to introduce the side missions, it, it probably should go into B. It didn't fill me with this, yeah, let's play the game. It filled me with this like, that's interesting. It's a D, not gonna lie, I put it in C then. There's a cougar in a mission chat. Look, there it is. Trevor being here in his underwear. I don't think there's any circumstance where that occurs. Like, there are switches that have him spawn in his underwear, but none of them happen at the pier, right? Can you get him so drunk that he passes out naked here? Yeah, I, I guess I've never done that in the game, I don't think. Just made Trevor pass out over and over again. So maybe this is one of the spawn locations for that. Well, this scene isn't true. These guys rolling these containers, that happens in the cutscene, but Trevor isn't in the cutscene for this. Weird that they would go the effort to make this scene then. This is obviously from Crystal Maze, and this cutscene does play out like this, but Trevor isn't in it. I want a picket fence and a husband and a dog named Skip. So I guess the title is referencing that Maud wants a picket fence. A picket fence to mean like the perfect family home or whatever. <laughs> what is this? Is the dog normally bare his teeth like that? It's never explained in the game if the dog can actually speak. And why, why Franklin can understand what it's saying. I guess this dog is named Skip. And so this is the end when you get all the spaceship parts. Leads to nothing. <laughs> And you just end up taking his spaceship vehicle, which is this vehicle. Even now, sometimes when I drive this vehicle, people are like, where did you get that vehicle? Although it's on, it's on online now, right? They eventually did add it to online. Oh, with Arena War, that's right. That's why people probably still don't see it very often online because no one wants the Arena War. Yeah, so a decent trailer, I suppose, but I'll still give it a C. Grand Theft Auto V, first person experience. November 5, 2014. So it's still not out yet with this trailer. First person experience having a strange effect on the gameplay in that it added a lot of movement mechanics. Like going up and down stairs especially is so much faster in first person. Like it isn't as though they just attached a camera to your head and left the game as it was. Like they actually put a lot of effort into making the first person experience enjoyable. But as a consequence, they broke a bunch of things. I 
ain't got time for this shit! Stealth? What? Wait, why did he gain so much stealth just then? Man, I wish I could get 5.5 million views for the most generic gameplay of all time. Rockstar, look, like, give me six months with GTA 6. I will make gameplay videos like this non-stop every day and uh, get 5.5 million views every single video. It'd be great. <laughs> there is something to be said for a simple trailer that just showcases the gameplay and the experience that you're wanting to show that people can buy. I don't think this was an amazing trailer though. It's CD, I'm probably gonna put it into C because I think there is some simple elegance in just showing the gameplay. There are a handful of things here that stood out to me. For example, here on this plane, this guy falls off way too early. I'll do my best to oblige you. I didn't know he could fall off that early. I guess I've never really tried to shake him off, but I normally just fly and he just falls off himself. Interesting. This may as well be a trailer for my soon to be first person playthrough of Grand Theft Auto V. So we're getting to the end of the older gen trailers. So this is one of the worst performing trailers. Just Grand Theft Auto V, PlayStation 3 to PS4 comparison video. November 6, 2014. So what, it still hasn't come out? That is a significant upgrade. Now show PC! Damn, Michael looking fine! <laughs> this is a, a fat guy just appeared. <laughs> Trevor? I think you even saw Trevor's hair change a bit there. Did Franklin just get a chair? No, they deleted the coyote. Oh, he moved. Never mind. As I say, a simple trailer to showcase the thing you're trying to showcase, but it, it doesn't like generate a super, super amount of hype. 
you know. I'm sure you could present better the idea of a graphics improvement. But I, I don't think this is a bad trailer. I'll put it in C. I don't think it's terrible, but it, again, it doesn't fill me with hype in the same way that the earlier ones did. You missed a PlayStation 4 trailer. So it turns out I've missed another trailer in the same way that previously we looked at an Xbox 360 TV spot. There was apparently a PlayStation 4 TV spot, which is this one. Came out November 25, 2014. It's only 30 seconds, but uh, let's take a look. Come on, man, knock it off. What? You can't stay here. I thought we was family. Look who's the Zach. What's up, with it, man? Ah, sis. Oh, I love you. Ah. Prove it on the bike now. A brother from another mother. Grand Theft Auto 5, out now. Rated M for Mature. Honestly, for a 30 second trailer, I thought that was pretty good. Bangin' Beat showcased some funny, interesting scenes that people may not have seen before. For 30 seconds, I think that communicated well the chaotic, fun nature of the game. Didn't exactly make me hyped, but I think it's probably a B. Short and sweet. So any more chat? Also this trailer? So it turns out I missed another trailer titled Grand Theft Auto V, the official launch trailer, PlayStation 4, November 11, 2014. Hey, Slick, it's me! I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? So prosper. Enjoy the picture, everyone! And some struggle. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. We had a deal! We had paperwork! My daddy was not nice to me! Life is just one long mystery. Ooh. Grand Theft Auto V. Coming November 18th on PlayStation 4. Rated M for Mature. Why do I associate this song with GTA 5? I must have heard it in other contexts, I don't know. Is, is this the first time we've seen Devon Weston in any trailer? I think it might be. It, it was definitely more of a focus on side characters this time round. I think that was a pretty good trailer, honestly. Does it stretch into A? I mean, it looks good. Definitely a kind of hype sort of way to present things. Yeah, I, uh, I'll, yeah I'll put an A. I think it's a good trailer. Grand Theft Auto V introducing the Rockstar editor. April 14, 2015. So the game has come out on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC at this point. Introducing the Rockstar Editor. Oh, the one's A back. new tool that allows players to record, edit, and share videos in Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online. Record gameplay footage while on or off mission with a simple press of a button. Or after an epic stunt, use the action replay feature to capture the last few moments of gameplay. The Rockstar Editor provides a robust suite of recording and editing tools. Using the project timeline, you can add, arrange, trim, and string together multiple clips. Add text and your favorite tracks from the radio stations or score to make more or less whatever you can dream of. There's a wide array of editing options featuring multiple camera modes, camera filters, audio mix adjustments, and more for you to play with. In director mode, you can stage your own scenes and create custom moments. How's it hanging? Select a GTA huh. story mode character, your favorite four-legged beast, or even a bird. Set the location, time of day, weather patterns, or gameplay modifications like explosive punches or low gravity. When finished with a project, export videos to your video gallery. Upload your final product to YouTube and the Rockstar Games Social Club to share with friends. The Rockstar Editor is a powerful tool that allows players to share their Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto Online experiences in an entirely new way. Oh wait, it said, it said available on PC. What, you can't do this on console? 
It works on console? Oh. Then, then why did it say only on PC? Because I thought it was on console, so that's, that's strange. Maybe it came to console later. I'll be real with you, the Rockstar editor is really, really cool, but a huge pain in the ass to use. I remember having to do for a, a, an award, an achievement or whatever, making a video in the game and then uploading it to YouTube or whatever. It's a huge pain in the ass and it seemed very jank and broken. Check out my sick gameplay, yo. The problem with making tools like this is getting people to actually use them and learn them. So it was a smart thing, uh, tying an achievement and award to actually using it so more people be aware. And as well, the editor does have a bunch of weird restrictions that people have to mod out, like in terms of where you can book cameras and stuff and limitations on assets and, and whatnot. But it's a great thing to have, especially considering that Red Dead 2, the editor didn't come with the original release. Like it was almost done and they just scrapped it. And so people had to mod the game to put the editor back in. I'm not much to say. I do like that they brought back that woman with her, her really amazing trailer voice. Get this woman to do every trailer ever. Rockstar have tried to reimagine the open world game in a number of ways. The game world is beautiful, massive, and diverse. Like I, I don't, it just, it's just magical, musical. Give it a B. So I have been informed I've missed another trailer, the PC trailer. This one came out April 3rd, so 11 days before the Rockstar editor one. For some reason, not on the Rockstar YouTube channel. That was really good. I think that's like an A. Those earlier scenes, they seemed even better than 60 FPS. Like they felt like artificially smooth. Unlike some stuff we've seen before and some stuff we're gonna see in the future going through this, they actually took the effort to go back to different scenes and get different camera angles. Like a lot of this, like it's, it's all just the same gameplay, right? But it's, it's, it's caught from all these different angles and stuff. Someone actually put effort to get like angles like this that don't exist in the game. No words were said, but it really communicated the next gen experience. Felt a little bit of hype, got some tingles. Yeah, this is definitely an A trailer. So that was the last trailer from the older gen. Now we move on to the newer stuff. Three years ago, five years after the previous trailer, Grand Theft Auto V coming to new generation consoles. I remember when this happened, everyone was so pissed. I think I have a video that might still be on my channel where I said Rockstar couldn't have disappointed me more because everyone was hoping for some word of GTA 6 and then when it starts up No! 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 Fuck! Shit! Why? They played us like a damn fiddle! Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Or the... I don't know, that thing. That magic. They should have got Ned Luke to come back to say the line but slightly different to bait people. Why did I move again? I want an even different type of weather. Duh, 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 duh. I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You sounded more and more like a snee-eye itch every day. The thing is, like it doesn't even look different. This does not look much different from the PlayStation 4, Xbox One stuff. This is not even like the best of PC graphics. Wonderland. My job, my story. This, this is like we've we've just watched all this. This is old footage. This is the same mistakes that we've seen in previous trailers. This is just cut from the previous trailers, or else this mistake wouldn't be here. I didn't. I don't think I realized that at the time. Get your own. We should talk about work. We out here gang banging like it's ninety one. We all love banks. Get me a DJ. Give me a hand with these bodies. This cannot be traced back to me. Champagne, anyone? Smash things. So now what? Oh, wait, 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 you put that scene in again? I'm angry all over again. And most of this is GT Online. This is just dumb. Bunch of copy pasting stuff. Like, uh, you could have gotten any YouTuber, paid them like 500 bucks, and said, yo, make us a good trailer. And you would have got something better than this. I'm going to put this in F. 
low effort. The concept is disappointing. So they should have put their best foot forward and they didn't even try. Like, did they not have footage on, like, just on file of, of good looking scenes and stuff they could have used for this? Like, I've got like hundreds of gigabytes of files of GTA 5 looking good. They could have asked me. I would have done it for free. Especially seeing that trailer that I missed where they actually went back and got all this high quality footage. Why didn't they use any of that high quality footage? Well, I guess it was PC footage, but that would have still been more representative of what was going to come to next generation consoles than this from PlayStation 3. What a, what a terrible trailer. Yeah, so F on this. And now, one of the worst trailers of all time. One that got even more dislikes than what we saw just previously. Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS. 80,000 likes, 354,000 dislikes. This came out September 10, 2021. It doesn't even have that many views. It has 5 million views. This is the one actually that I think I made my video on saying I was the most disappointed ever. Not the previous one. Franklin, what's up? Ah! <laughs> Improved graphics. Enhanced gameplay. Look at the mirrors don't even work. What 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 gameplay changed? What gameplay changed, Roxy? You tell me. Look at the, the, the number plates are fucked up. I gotta run now, okay? Alright, bye babe. Seamless character switching! Oh my god! Explosive action! Oh man, speed up! And, mu and much more! Comparing this trailer, especially to some of the bangers we just watched previously, how hyped they made you with like, often no words. Like, like this just felt like the worst of all worlds. Where they're using words, like they're, they're, they're telling you rather than showing. Like, the seamless character switching should be obvious, right? You shouldn't need to like pop up on screen. Hey, by the way, this character switching is pretty good. Old gem with SSD actually switches faster because there is less things to load. Right, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. You see barely anything either. This is the most action-packed scene you could think of, like... <laughs> and it never came to PC. It's even worse now because they're now releasing new content that is just not coming to PC because we don't have the enhanced edition. This needs its own tier. Put this in hot garbage. It let so many people down thinking we we're gonna hear something about GTA 6. It didn't present anything new or anything in an interesting way. It negated hype. It took away hype. <laughs> of course, though, people did buy GTA 5 on the new generation consoles. But I think they would have bought it anyway. Like, it has nothing to do with this trailer. The GTA Online experience on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, graphical-wise, was awful. It was like 24 FPS a lot of the time. It definitely made GC Online a better experience for console players. There's definitely more of a need for enhanced edition for consoles than there was for PC. Would have been nice to have gotten some of the enhancements on PC though. The console version is now better in some ways than the PC version. And not just for the avoidance of hackers. Rockstar just hates PC users. Starting to seem that way, making me nervous for GTA 6. So put this in the hot garbage tier. So the last trailer on this list, Grand Theft Auto 5 and GT Online out now on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS. There's also massive amount of dislikes and the views way down. I don't know how Rockstar Games is going to dig themselves out of this hole, guys. So many dislikes, so few views are basically a dead channel, basically a dead company. How could they possibly fix all the bad blood ill will that they've generated with all the, this cash grab bullshit? And the Definitive Edition, I, I think they're done, guys. I <laughs> it's as I always said, even after all these things happen. I was like, as long as GTA 6 releases and it looks good, people forgive anything. Like, like Rockstar could have personally come to your house and kicked your grandmother down the stairs. And you were like, look, Rockstar, GTA 6 is amazing. <laughs> that looks beautiful. This text again, though. I like this song. It's, 
There's nothing special about that. It's just presents the graphics really. I'm not gonna put that in F. I think a different time, different place, this would have been fine. It would have just been a blip on the radar. It would have been like a D trailer, a C trailer kind of thing. Given the time that it came out and what it's promoting, I'm just gonna put it in D. It, it doesn't impress me. It doesn't fill me with hype. It's just a thing. So finally reaching the end, we're going to watch some trailer from my Reddit, which I think I've seen before. GT5 trailer featuring Maddo, enhanced version, second try. This is how a real Rockstar Games trailer should be. Why did I move here? I clearly had no other choice! I guess it was the Shut the fuck up! You know how it is. You disingenuous motherfucker! Something about something about something about something or you couldn't take a chair, motherfucker! <laughs> you disingenuous motherfucker! Dense motherfucker! Dense motherfucker. That is fucking devastating. Yeah. This song sucks. <laughs> what is this song? I'm deleting this song. Rockstar, you should call this NMS BR guy. He, he does good work. One last one we should play. Where's the why did Michael move here? Why did I move here? I guess it was the witness protection. No! Million copies. Billion copies. Instantly sold. So I guess that is the end of this journey of experiencing Rockstar Games' marketing for their Grand Theft Auto titles. Other than the missteps towards the end there, Rockstar can make some good trailers. If you want to see my breaking down and analysis and stuff of the GTA 6 trailer, I highly recommend you check that out on my YouTube channel. I can't wait to see the next GTA 6 trailer, probably a year from now. Hype for the future. We are all one day going to be playing GTA 6. Sick. Thank you for watching, and I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.